welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September favorites. I'm excited to show you the things that I've been loving this month. I'm also wondering where the heck did September go. So my YouTube anniversary is on October the 1st, 2011 is when I started watching videos on this channel and that's exciting. I am excited for all the things that Bobby has going on at his school. They have um, a Spider-Man party, they have a open house, and they also have a trunk or treat, which I've never heard of before, but his school allows the parents to decorate the trunks of their cars, you park in the parking spot, and hand out candy to the kids. So I've been looking on Pinterest like crazy trying to get different ideas of what we're going to do, but I'm excited to do it. Also, in October, I'm excited about Pintober. I am a Pinterest fanatic, and I'm excited to try to do Pintober three, three times a week and showing you the different pins, uh, reviewing a pin, doing a pin, and also talking about the power of Pinterest, why I believe Pinterest can be so beneficial to bloggers and vloggers, and it's a great outlet, and why I believe that it's a great outlet for social media and for getting your content seen by many people. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel to follow along in Pintober. I also have a bunch of fun videos planned for the month of October. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links are down below. That's how you can stay connected with me, and I would love to chat with you there. Um, and if you want, give this video a thumbs up for more favorites videos. Let's get started and see what I've been loving this month. Okay, so I'm gonna, I have three beauty-ish products that I want to share, and they're all from the drugstore. The first one is the Soft Soap Juicy Pomegranate and Mango Infusions. It's a moisturizing body wash with moisture beads. And this stuff smells so good. It is a great smelling body wash. It smells nice and strong, but also moisturizes the skin and doesn't leave you feeling dry. I love the way that my bathroom smelled after I would get out of the shower and you would go back in and your whole entire bathroom would smell like this. And I think it was like $2.50 at, I got this one at Righty. So $2.50 for a body wash, you can't beat that. And it's a good size, it says that it's um, 18 fluid ounces. So I highly suggest giving this one a try if you're in the market for a new body wash. So I recently hauled this Maybelline Color Tattoo Leather um, eyeshadow and I love it. I think that it's a great color. That it, now it says that it's in creamy beige, 80 creamy beige. It's definitely not beige. It's more like of a pinky brownish color than beige, but it is pretty pink. So it's a great base. It goes great under your eyeshadow and it has more of a matte consistency. So if you wanted to add a shimmer eyeshadow on top, you could. If you wanted to do a matte eye, you could add a matte shadow on top of it. And I just love this. I think that it's a great color. It's a great consistency. And I, I highly recommend giving these a try if you haven't already. Leave me a comment below letting me know if you like these and if you've tried them. So the next thing I have been using for quite some time, but I love this in the month of September. It is the Eucerin Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Sensitive Skin Cream. This is a super, super thick moisturizer and it leaves your skin feeling so hydrated. I have oily combination skin, more oily than combination. I tend to have like just dry areas. And I love the way that my face feels when I put this on. You can see like a nice glow to the skin without it feeling oily and most of all it moisturizes. And if it's supposed to help with wrinkles, I like that because you can never start too early because I know I'm 29 and they're about to be coming. I know that for a fact. So if you're in the market for a new moisturizer and you're looking for a cheaper alternative, it was probably $15 at the uh, at Rite Aid or your local drugstore and this this is a great great moisturizer. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a food item and it is the Goldfish Grams Vanilla Cupcake. These are so good. Like where have I been? I have not tried these. I just recently tried these in September and they were so tasty. They taste like little shortbread cookies. I was in the supermarket and I was going to buy the Lenora Dune cookies and for like a little pack it was $5. I was like, I shouldn't even be eating cookies. I'm not paying $5 for no stinking cookies. So when I saw these I was like, okay I'll give these a try. And they taste just like shortbread cookies. They are so good. You have to give these a try. I think, you know, you can get goldfish deals like 
two for two dollars or two for two fifty and they are so tasty and if you're looking for like a little sweet treat it's not like a candy bar it's not like a bowl of ice cream it's just like a small amount of sweetness to satisfy that sweet craving you might be having. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is for my coffee drinkers. If you drink coffee like I do, then you should try this Cafe Cribe, um, Cafe Mol Molito Espresso. So this was from the Latin American section in the supermarket, and it was advertised as like a Latin coffee, but it's a dark roast coffee that has like a super rich flavor and is so good. Now, the best part is the price. This one was on sale for $1.99 for this entire thing of coffee, and it is good. Believe me when I tell you that it's a good cup of coffee. It is a little quincy. Kabush you. For, for $1.99, you cannot beat that. It is a really good cup of coffee. It's a dark roast, so it's going to be stronger. It says that it's espresso, but, you know, I just drink it like a, like a regular cup of coffee. I'm not sure, but the, the flavor is delicious, and it tastes amazing. And if you have this in your supermarket, I suggest giving it a try. Of course, you know, if you use K-cups and all that kind of stuff, then you wouldn't be able to try this. But if you just use a regular coffee pot like we do, then I suggest giving this one a try. The show that I'm going to talk about is my show for the month of September and I need anybody that likes this show to leave me a comment down below so that we can bond over Sons of Anarchy. It started in September and it is like our favorite show. It's a show that we have to sit down and watch every Tuesday. We're like there watching it even though I have been falling asleep. I love that show. I'm obsessed with Jax Teller. And it's the final season, and it's definitely something that you could watch previous seasons on Netflix and get caught up and then start watching. It's a really a great, great show. The storyline is good. Jax Teller is hot. And, yeah, it, I'm, like, satisfying my alter ego of being in, like, a biker gang when I watch that show. It makes me want to wear, like, leather and black and be Gemma Teller. Give me a comment let me know if you watch that show. I love Sons and it's just it's just a really really great show. I watch a ton of reality TV and if I'm not watching reality TV I'm watching crime shows and if I'm not watching that I'm not watching anything I'm watching YouTube. So um, this is like the one and only scripted show that I do watch that is really really good and I'll be sad this, when the season is over but I'm excited to watch and see how the season ends. So the song that I've been loving is Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no size two, but I can shake it, shake it like I'm supposed to do. I got yeah, so I love that song. It's so catchy. Bobby and I are always dancing to it when we're in the car or put it on in the house. And little Bobby and I love that song. It's so catchy and it makes me want to dance every single time I hear it. <laughs> so that's all my favorites for this month. It's not that much stuff, but the things that I have been loving I wanted to share. And I love I love the song, I love the shows, and I love all of the products that I've that I've been using. Or make sure you're subscribed for all the videos to come for Pintober and in the month of October. You can go and check out my blog, sensationalfinds.blogspot.com for blog posts and more updates from me. My social media, as always, I'm always on there. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye!